There is the old ham, Glenn Fry, living right with me. Another couple of blokes who've been living right. Uh, Todd yeah. and Mark Hunter. We've been working out, Richard. Been working hard. We had a report on the uh, the launch of the album so, a little earlier on. That's great. Yeah. How do you fun. How do you think Bondi Road compares to uh, some of your earlier stuff? I think it's better, actually. It's um, it's a continuation. It's a growth pattern. We're learning how to how to do things differently. With the first one, we actually recorded using a lot of computers and lots of time. It works well. And you did it totally yourselves? Did it in Todd's bedroom. Uh, well, not really. Todd's <laughs> studio. I think Todd refers to it as a studio. This yeah, is like, yeah, this is like really a studio. studio. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is like a Daihatsu commercial, isn't it? Not, not so squeezy. But um, you guys, you had some tremendous help. People like Kenny G performing on. How did you get hold of Kenny G? Well, actually, I, I tracked him down at a hotel and said, please, we work in a local band. Do you want to come play on a record? He said, forget it, forget it. And I just kept on hounding the guy and sending him tapes. And he finally heard it and thought, oh, that's quite good. I'll play on it. And he's great. Came in and meditated. He came out here and, and did, his, did his solo and all that. And he was actually here. Yeah. He was doing he was too, yeah. 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 That's good. Um, the, I mean, a lot of people still criticize you guys. You've had this criticism all the way through about making kind of blatant pop records. You, you've, you've we love pop music. Yeah. You think pop music is a high art form? I do, anyway. Well, a lot of pop music is here today and gone tomorrow, but your stuff is still being played on the radio. What is it about your pop music that makes it different from a lot of the other? I don't know. If we knew that, we'd write a lot more of it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Probably more ingratiating than other pop music. Do you think so? Yeah. No, no, why not? I don't know what it is. I think just having great, good melodies, you know. We have really good melodies. We've always been lucky that we had good songwriters. And great songwriters. I mean, one well, of the... good. Well, <laughs> I guess one of the notable successes is Age of Reason. You're from, obsessed by that song, Richard. Well, I think it sold a lot Every of records. Every time I talk to you, you mention it. Well, I, it, it's bought you a farm or something, hasn't it? You've no! Said, a no? farm. Well, <laughs> several a farms? A farm. And God, it's brought them half in New South Wales. Does it? And you always say that, too. Yeah, Every no. time we speak to Richard, I'm obsessed, you say I'm obsessed by it, too, actually. Well, it's a great song. I mean, it's, it's almost like you guys have come the full circle from the, the, the wild lads of the late 70s and parties and infamous tales of... To the wild granddads of the to, 90s, right? To, to the guys. There we are. We're now working. Our image is now the proclaimer's grandfathers. My God. Here we are, going way back. Here's Kerry playing drums. How's Kerry? He played drums on... He's well. Drums. Yeah. Yeah. He's about the same. Hey. But I mean, since those days... Oh, what is it? <laughs> since those days, you guys are now, you know, cons concerned with the environment to a large degree, with the turn back the tide. Well, I wouldn't say we're concerned with the environment. We actually got involved with that issue and tried to do something about that issue because it really seemed so self-evidently disgusting and nobody seemed to be doing anything about it, even though we found it later, once we researched it, that a lot of people were working on it. But that was great. That was a great day, that day. It was fantastic. Mm. And you guys deservedly got a lot of the accolades for that. What, what is it about Bondi? I mean, Dragon and Bondi seem to go hand in hand, not only because you're Kiwis and it's sort of known as a Kiwi hang-up, but Dragon's what is it? a Bondi sort of thing, Richard. It's just... It is, I suppose, because... It's linked. We're... Immutably linked. Immutably Is that good or bad? Well, it's neither here nor there. I mean, Todd's linked to it because he lives there. I, yeah. don't, I don't live there. I shifted out. I couldn't stand the place. Hmm. But I still like it to go back there. And Bondi really figures largely, you know, in the Australian psyche i reckon you know there's the opera house the harbour bridge and bondi beach people go there as soon as they come to this country as soon as they come to sydney they're going to have a squeeze at it probably one of the most famous uh, yeah. suburbs in australia yeah. yeah the first release from um bondi road is of course young years which was written by sharon o'neill and uh, your partner alan in crime alan mansfield yeah. this is it young alan. years dragon
still looking and sounding pretty snappy after all these years, Drac. Where, where, where was that shot exactly? On your farm? No, where? no some of the end bit is actually looking down onto the Boyd's property down there from Pulpit Rock. Some of it's up on a place. The southern coast of New yeah, South yeah, Wales? Yeah, a couple of hours south of Sydney. The Boyd's, you mean Arthur Boyd the painter? Yeah, yeah. Arthur yeah. Boyd the famous the painter. Boyd. Pulpit Rock. I mean, like, as not a Bill and Boyd, not, not as Freddy a Bill and Boyd. Boyd. <laughs> 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 not Freddie. Son of Freddie Boyd the painter. Some, some people say that, you know, your hearts aren't really in Dragon. Is Dragon Who says the that? Well, it's been, it's, I read it in a Rolling Stone, well, no, not Rolling Stone, Duke magazine. I think there was a view saying that, you know, you guys... The, the, how you, dare they say that? I mean, how dare they even venture an opinion on it? They don't even know us. Is Dragon the most important thing? To us? Yeah. It's no. definitely one of them. <laughs> <laughs> definitely one of them. I love it. It is, actually. It's, um, but yeah, of course it's important, otherwise we couldn't do it for this long, you know. When, when we get back together and work, because we only work about five months a year, we get together and make a record and a tour, it's definitely the most important thing. It's a huge relief to be back working with Todd and Alan. When you guys broke up, I mean, it seemed like that was the end of, end of Dragon. Well, it was, actually. I don't know if we broke up so much as shattered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> imploded. Disintegrated. <laughs> imploded, that's a good and point. And you originally got back together to kind of pay off a few debts, yeah. as I understand. Yeah, debt, it's called debt. We <laughs> were in debt from the first time around, so we re got back together again. We're, actually, we're actually in debt all the way through the 70s. We just had to keep on working. I mean, you know that scene. Pay the keep road crew. Keep on working, pay the road crew. Yeah, of course. Once upon a time. Do all that stuff, and we, in the end, by the time we said forget it, a couple of years later, these people started going knock, knock, knock. Hello, are you Mr. Hunter? <laughs> no, 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 he's out. He's gone to the shop. <laughs> but in the end, we had to pay the money back. So that's how we got back together. We did rain and kept on going from there. What about overseas? I mean, everyone's always said that you guys should make it in the <clears> states. <throat> no, we've rejected the states now. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The whole of America comes and knocks on our doors. We're just going to go. Sorry. What happened last time around? I mean, you went there and it was all looking pretty good. Oh, it's very boring, mate, traveling in a tour bus. Mm. It's boring. So what, you're putting the record out there and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't... That's right. We're still. philosophical. Well, good luck. Thank you. It's a, it's a great... I mean, pop records are, are hard to make, I think. Probably harder yeah, to make than a lot of others. I think so. Especially the way we make them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming in. And good luck. You're off, you're off to New Zealand to uh, answer some other silly questions yeah, next we week. Are. We yeah, doing a week in New Zealand at PR. It'd be great. And playing live? No. We'll tour uh, June, not July, not. August. Really? September, October, November. Alan in the band, who Tommy coming Definitely, back in yeah. the band? Tommy Manuel? Tommy probably not because he's doing his own thing, he's so busy. Hmm. But um, Mike Khan, a few other people. Yeah. Great. Good luck with that and everything else. Thanks, Thanks mate. All right. <laughs> We've got some more good uh, homegrown music shortly from DeMont, uh, the band produced by Peter Dawkins, who, of course, produced a lot of Dragon's hit Hiya, records. Petey. Hey, We have the new video from the lady whose uh, tapestry album, still one of the biggest-selling LPs ever. Carol King is back with a new album.